Here in Utah, we're lucky enough to have a lot of really good mountains for skiing in the backcountry. We have good access through the roads and we have amazing snowpack because we get so much snow here. Yeah, we've got the greatest snow on earth here in Utah and you know, the backcountry is getting loved to death. There's some great places to ski up Little Cottonwood Canyon, specifically Dry Fork, Days Fork, and Silver Fork, all just over the ridge. The backcountry can be a really great place to go and enjoy the wilderness, enjoy Utah's greatest snow. It can also be a, a, a very deadly and dangerous place. The difficult thing about backcountry skiing is that the best places to ski are also the most prone to avalanche danger. With the continual increasing number of backcountry skiers in big and little cottonwood canyons, it's crucial that we know what we're doing before we head out and that we cooperate with the avalanche control workers so that everybody can enjoy the canyon. The Utah Department of Transportation is responsible for keeping roads safe within the state of Utah. Part of that responsibility includes keeping them safe from avalanches in the winter months. UDOT has uh, avalanche forecasting and control programs in Big Cottonwood Canyon, Little Cottonwood Canyon, and Provo and American Fork Canyons. Our job is to monitor the weather and the snowpack, and when we feel that natural avalanches could hit the road, we shut down the road and do control work. If we didn't do that, the snowpack might get to a point where it would avalanche naturally on the highway and we have a pretty crowded highway and chances are someone would get hit. So uh, what we do here at the UDOT uh, practically on a daily basis is we will be going up into some of the avalanche starting zones above the town of Alta here and above the highway between Alta and Snowbird and we'll be digging some uh, daily snow pits just to see how the snow is uh, uh, progressing. This is something that we keep track of from uh, the first snowfall in uh, the fall and continuing to keep going out uh, every time it snows just to see how the snowpack is developing, whether there are any uh, inherent weak layers that we need to keep track of or if things are actually getting better within the snowpack. Depending on the weather cycles, uh, we can be uh, going out every day to be looking at the snow and digging pits. Uh, if we get into a period of high pressure, uh, we may go out every other day or every third day. Because of the fact that we are using uh, standard military ammunition for our avalanche control work. It's really important that uh, no one is in the avalanche starting zone or anywhere near it when we fire artillery. If we feel that there is a possibility that someone may have gotten through our various uh, nets to keep them away, uh, we're unable to carry out control work. So this is a 105 howitzer. Um, it has a range of roughly eight miles. It delivers uh, a warhead to the slopes that we're trying to do the control work on. And when we shoot, we try to bring down the avalanches artificially so they don't hit the highway naturally when cars are on them. Clear the front, clear the rear, clear above. Ready to fire? Fire! The shrapnel range is a minimum of 1,500 feet from the point of detonation. Here's a piece of the shrapnel, so obviously uh, no one wants to be anywhere near something like this. If the percussion didn't get you and the avalanche didn't get you, the shrapnel might, so we need to make sure people don't come anywhere near where we're shooting. Before we do avalanche control work, we've got to make sure the zones that we're shooting into are completely clear. That means we've got to clear the road clear the town, put the town in inner lodge, and a part of that is making sure the backcountry that we're shooting into is void of all skiers, all people. What we do is we put out a text alert, uh, we put out an email alert, we have a, a phone number that people can call to, to find out if we're shooting or not. Um, we put a, a word out on the UAC, Utah Avalanche Forecast Center webpage, 
and then we put out uh, signage at the trailheads and then along the roadway. So if you're driving up and you see the, the blinking road signs that say backcountry access restricted, that means we're doing control work. If we feel that people might be skiing in avalanche starting zones, we, we can't carry out the necessary control work, which ends up posing a risk to thousands of motorists on the road, as well as the, the residents of the town and, and visitors to the town of Alta and the village of Snowbird. There's a reason morning control work occurs. It means that it's not safe to be in the backcountry. So if you ignore the warnings on a morning shoot, not only are you putting your own safety at risk, but you're putting the safety of everybody who has to travel up this canyon to go to work or to perform avalanche control work. Skiing in the backcountry, in particular in a place like Little Cottonwood Canyon, requires a good deal of responsibility for all of us. The closures, if everything goes well, will be relatively short-lived and things will be open and people uh, can uh, freely access uh, the backcountry once we're finished. In any day of backcountry skiing, there's multiple risks. You can ski into a tree, you could become injured in the backcountry, but ultimately the, the biggest risk every single day in the backcountry would be avalanches and staying out of them. Before heading into the backcountry, I always check the Utah Avalanche Center website for snow conditions, as well as UDOT's website for road conditions and blasting status. You can stay out of the way uh, of UDOT doing their avalanche control work to keep the road open and still have a great time going out skiing if you just pay attention to what is open and what is closed. Those guys have a job to do and try to make it easy for them to do their job and keep the road open. Backcountry skiing carries a lot of risk to it, but it can be mitigated. If you take the necessary precautions, bring the right equipment and check, and check the proper websites and, and know where to go before you head out. If you don't, you're putting everybody's lives that lives up in this town in jeopardy. You're putting everybody who drives on that road, their lives in jeopardy. The avalanche control program's in jeopardy. It's basically, I get it, you want to go skiing, and it's just one more thing you got to check before you go. We certainly encourage uh, responsible backcountry skiing in the canyons along the Wasatch Front. We are avid backcountry skiers ourselves, um, and just as Anyone headed into the backcountry to go skiing in the Wasatch would need to have the proper equipment and to check the avalanche forecast. It's also very important that they check the various sources of information that are going to tell them when and where we're going to carry out artillery control work.